Today, community members took to the streets to demand justice for the young lives lost to gun violence. Fox 9's Mary McGuire was at today's gathering. There's no peaceful playing at the park. There's no peaceful going out to dinner with your family. There's nothing peaceful about any of this. 75 people have been murdered in Minneapolis so far this year. That grim statistic includes three young children who lost their lives to gun violence. 12 year old London Bean was one of them. They're labeled as kid killers. I'll say it one more time, kid killers. And if that doesn't touch enough souls, then I don't know what else will. London's accused killer, 18 year old Jeremiah Grady, has been charged with second degree murder, but he's still on the run from police. Our children is not getting no noise made. We can't find the murderers. Frustrated with a lack of answers, accountability and outrage, London's mom, Crystal Hill, called on local community groups and activists to show up and speak up. She specifically wanted us to address children. That's why we named this the Children's March to End Gun Violence. Who keeps us safe? We keep us safe. On Saturday, dozens marched together through the streets of North Minneapolis, demanding that people put the guns down. The day ended with a celebration of life for those children and renewed calls for those responsible for their murders to turn themselves in. There's no way you can tell me you're able to sleep at night knowing you killed someone's kid. Now, London's mom tells me that she wants to make the Children's March a yearly event. Still, no arrests have been made in his murder or in the shootings of three children this spring in North Minneapolis. Reporting in Minneapolis, Mary McGuire.